There are a variety of different kinds of activities in Moodle, but there are three big activities that your teacher will tend to use a lot. Uh, they are forums, assignments, and quizzes. Now, different teachers have different emphasis, emphasi, different ways of doing their classes. Some will have a lot of homework that you turn in. Others will have a lot of discussion on a forum. Others will give you a lot of quizzes or midterms or a big final. Um, we're going to cover each of those three things as a, as a separate short tutorial. We'll start with the discussion forums. And you can see these in uh, topic three or section three of the ori Moodle orientation called part three, doing the work. So I'm going to collapse part three so it shows only that. And of course, you should read this additional material and you should already understand a little bit about resources. There's a link here to activities and it explains a little bit about what activities are. And we go back and then there's a section under that that um, explains discussion forums. So you click on this and you're going to, you should read this and there's some graphics that explain about the different parts of the forum. So if I go too quickly, especially there are little notes like don't forget to read this part and here's how you submit it and so on. But I'll go in and I'll give you a quick little example. A forum in Moodle is usually represented by this picture of these two faces. Depending on the layout and the design of your course, that may be a slightly different picture, but this is the most common image for a forum. So we'll look at this one. It's a forum that says try out the editor and forum practice. So you're going to click on the forum. Whenever you get to a forum, you want to be sure to read these instructions because they tell you what you need to do. And if you're sloppy and just go full forward, you may not do what your instructor actually needs. And forums can be graded. So if the forum is graded and you don't read the instructions, you probably won't do very well on it. In this particular case, it says create a new forum post and demonstrate at least half of the tools on the toolbar. Looks like there's a little typo here that I need to fix. Get creative, see if you can replicate part of a resume, so on and so forth. So you read this, this whole thing and then you go down here and notice here nobody has posted on this forum yet. So you would, if you were the first one, and it says there are no discussion topics yet in this forum. So you go here and click add a new discussion topic and the instructions still are up here and it tells you first you have to have a subject. So we would type in a subject, uh, my first forum or try out editor. And your instructor may have uh, specific instructions about how you should do subject lines and they would be in the course notes. But always do put something there, don't just put whatever. And then we can go ahead and type something. I'm testing out the text editor. And the instructions said to do at least half of these up here, but we don't have time here, but I'll go ahead and show you bold. And uh, there's italic. And I can click here and do a horizontal line. And I could put uh, go to Disney. And I'll highlight Disney and click the chain here. And then I'll put, uh, and I can put Disney, Disney.com, and maybe make it open in a new window. Hit OK. Now I have a Disney link, and then I could put uh, this is a line, line left and right and middle, and I could click on that and align that one to the left. That's already to the left. I'll do the right over here. That goes to the right, and this goes to the middle. I'll click the middle. So uh, this lesson is not specifically about the text editor, but you can do all kinds of things with the text editor here, as you can see. And I encourage you to play around with that. You can even do you know, colors on your fonts. So we made that a little bit of a purple, and we can make the background uh, a little bit of yellow, and so on and so forth. And if you're really into HTML, you can even look at the HTML here and do that. If you have a lot to edit, you can expand this by enlarging the editor this way, it makes a much bigger window. You have to be sure to collapse it before you save it. So then you're done with that. And now be sure to read this message here, whether or not you want to get emails from this forum, because you can get a lot of emails, and then you post. And in doing that, you'll get a message that says it was successfully added. You have 30, sec 30 minutes to edit it. And now, instead of saying nobody has posted, you see your forum post, and you can review it by clicking on that. So putting your first post in is that simple.